So Kieran, after two very positive results in the last couple of weeks, that was probably a very frustrating one for you. Yeah, a little bit frustrating. Uh, obviously, we're disappointed not to come away with a win, but uh, I thought the effort from the guys was fantastic. You know, that first half, even though it was 8-0 at half-time, we defended really, really well. You know, they had a bounce of the ball that went their, their way and a, and a penalty. Uh, I just think the second half, probably the energy it took out the first half, caught up with us and we picked a few injuries up as well, which didn't help and uh, we had nothing left on our bench and, you know, Toronto were probably just a little bit more clinical with the ball today than we were. That first half, it kind of turned a little. We were going ebb, ebb, ebbed and flow with them, and then when Inti dropped that ball, it kind of turned in their favour a little in that first half, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did, you know. And I thought, you know, we first half we had probably two chances in good ball. It's the only time we got down there, and we, we nearly scored on both of them. There was just a, a fingertip between, you know, the pass and the ball going over for a try. So it's fine margins for us. Uh, we're disappointed, but I think overall, you know, for, for the start of the season we've had, we've had two good wins. Uh, you know, we've lost against Toronto, we're an excellent team. Uh, and we've got to build on that and I think the number one thing is we've had some effort in the shirt, there's been some pride and once again our, our travelling fans have been brilliant. I was going to touch on that, we, although it is a defeat, it's not going to, going to define our season in a way, it's important that we keep perspective on where we want to be at the end of the year. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, the, the first half, there was nothing really in that first half and, and second half, we just we came off on every pitch last week. Uh, we, we had a couple of busted bodies out there, we, we ran out of a bit of energy but you know, the boys never gave in, they keep trying. Uh, and we look forward to our next two games at home now and you know, hope for bumper crowds there as well. I know you're not going to use it as an excuse, but the, the dis disruption with the injuries, it doesn't exactly help you when you're on the field, does it? No, it's uh, from the naked eye, you know, it's, you're putting a body on for a body, but you know, when you're moving people around and you lose a half and then you have to put a back row in the half, it, it throws your systems out a little bit and it puts more pressure on, on people in other areas. You know, Harrison Hansen started off in the front row and played a full 80 minutes, uh, Liam Wood played a full 80 minutes, so there's a lot of pressure goes on them guys and we have to be good with their energy this week in training and get ready for Sheffield. You touched on the injuries, do you want to give us a quick update on either looking Ali Ash or Bart, Danny Craven and such? Yes, yeah, you know, unfortunately, it's uh, for, for Danny. He took a head knock there, which he had to come off uh, on review from the video, and we, we have no choice over that one. Um, if he passes his test, he should be fine for next week. Ollie's not looking too good with an ankle injury at the moment, and and Tangart has got an injury there, which will we'll have to be uh, assessed on, on Monday. But again, it's, it's not looking great at this moment. Sheffield next week. You and the boys must be itching already to get back on the field and kind of correct what's gone wrong this weekend. Yeah, I don't think there's a great deal to correct. Um, you know, I think the, the effort's there, that, that's the number one thing. Uh, that's what I said in the changing rooms. If the effort weren't there, then, then we'd have an issue. You know, the, the sharpness and the fluidity, uh, the, you know, the fluid of the moves. We, we can get that back and we get that back by people in the right positions. But we have to look after ourselves for a couple of days, get some energy in and, and look forward to Sheffield. You know, they're going really well, they're top of the table, or they were last night anyway. Uh, and, you know, they'll be, they'll be coming full of confidence as well. And lastly, travelling sports, superb again this afternoon. You need them back on board again next week against Sheffield. Yes, we do. Uh, you know they, they've been brilliant every game so far. They, they, they keep coming in numbers. They keep singing. They're, you know they're singing loud and proud and, and getting on board. And you know it means a lot to the boys. And I think you you saw today, even though in a loss, there was interaction between the players and the crowd, which is good to see.